Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I'm going to give you an update on my hinge mount, uh, side and mount solar panels. And yeah, y'all are really going to like this. This is it's pretty cool. I, I even, uh, I even uh, felt good myself when I did it. I mean, I even surprised myself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to show y'all how I did it. Alright, y'all stand back and enjoy. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, here is my two Alt E solar panels. Got them installed. I don't know if we got this that far yesterday evening. But it, it, it is around, let's see, it's four o'clock in the evening. So the sun is about going down. I mean, it gets, it's, it starts going down around four. Sunset is around four, uh, four forty, I think four forty-five right now. And plus the sun is down behind the trees, and it is cloudy as heck right now. So we're not putting out hardly any power. Just a little bit, not much. But anyway, uh, yeah. It's been like this all day. R rain this morning. We're, might get some um, sleet this evening. But anyway, but anyway, you see how I got it mounted? That's for like winter time, straight up and down, where I get good. And I'll get you get it from a distance. But you're gonna love this, y'all. But let you see it, and it's really versatile. It is really and it's my other side mount panels so when the sun comes all the way around the shed on uh, the solar shed during throughout the day in the winter time I get I make power all day long so that's a good thing it produce kilowatt hours so anyway but here's what it looks like for a distance <laughs> so it's not too too terribly no noticeable Plane looks too bad, y'all. I mean, y'all give me some comments, that'd be fine. But uh, y'all gonna like this. But anyway, I put my ground rod in earlier. Yeah, well, I'll get a close up at it. Pretty soon that. Oh, by the way, that dark brown stuff, that's my asparagus right there, got growing. I'm getting ready to bush hog them down for the winter. And they'll be, they'll be back around March. Anyway, let's go. I'm going to show you this uh, setup I got. I just got done a few minutes ago. I said, well, I'll make a video before it gets dark. So, but, anyway, I got everything grounded. Got my ground rod in. My six gauge copper wire. And this thing is the bomb. Um... Like I say, my racking system, my hinges that I have up here, my other hinge, and I put a block of wood there to get it off to building a, a certain amount or have clearance. Good airflow. Because the more airflow you have on your solar panels to keep them cool, the better off you are. But anyway, anyway, this is with the wintertime setup. The wintertime stuff, but all I gotta do is take this. You see this wood, this frame right here, right? Okay, well, I'll slide these panels out. I'm gonna slide these panels out. There we go. <laughs> How y'all like that? <laughs> eh? Y'all like that? It would have been easier, probably better if I had like a set up on a tripod where y'all could see it. But, uh, yeah, I, would, I didn't want them to slam that hard, but they're locked in there. So, and that's my, summer, will be my summertime tilt. As you notice, I can't give it too much farther because the fence is here. I own two feet past the fence um, on my popping line. But, oh well, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to produce some power. That's the main thing. And these are all, this... This thing I built earlier today, and here's how it's constructed. I got um, L brackets up in there. 
and more L brackets. They sold a lot of every salt treated wood I had. I believe in recycling. And there's my ground wire. Come up to my mount. Right here. And I got the weeb solar mounts on my brackets. And I got my number six gauge copper wire. Coming down and going to the ground. There we go. But anyway, hey, I like that setup. And if I want to fold them up, like for bad weather or anything like that, or any of that kind of good stuff, like I say, it just hinged. I'll just lift this up right here. Put some weight against the solar panels. And oh, you can even adjust them like that. Yeah, I wouldn't know if I'll leave them like that or not, but anyway, I can just gently pull these back, and there we go. They're tucked right out of the way. <laughs> hey, I like that. Y'all want to see it again? All right, here we go. All right, salt treated wood. All right, here we go. There we go. I tilted out to probably about a 30, 32 degree angle and such. But yeah, I am, I'm happy. And the fence, the shed, when the people built the shed, it, I built most of it. It was already, it was already existing building. I just fixed it up. Um, it wasn't in line with the fence, so as you can tell. But hey, it's it is what it is so anyway I'm gonna fold these things back up there we go how you like that that's the virelocity hen solar panel mount I got a patent pin on it no I'm just kidding y'all <laughs> That's why I made this video to give y'all ideas. Alright y'all. Well, I'm going to show you a little update inside. Sorry we're not making much power. Um, but even, even a big, all the other array is not making much pa uh, power. I'll give you an example. The 700 watt array is making maybe 30 watts and that's 700 watts array, array and this is 1610 and we're making 30 watts at 1.8 amps and this is at 0.9 amps the 700 watt, watt array and the 240 watt array or 26 Okay, oh, we're not drawing any amps right now. Oh, we're making volts. 26.7 volts. Zero solar amps right now. Okay, y'all. I just want to give y'all a little update. Let y'all see what's going on. Alright. Anyway. This is uh, KVSMC. Or, this is Kenny. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Skype, or Google Plus under KVUSMC or Kenneth W. Vire Jr. V is in victory, I-A-R Jr. Y'all have a good one, y'all. I think I might go squirrel hunting now. Or go hunting, deer hunting. Alright, y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching. Alright, bye-bye.